हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज नरेश आई एस अकेडमी डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड नाउ आई एम वर्किंग ऑन जनरल स्टडीज क्वेश्चन पेपर वन फॉर द आई एस मेन्स एग्जाम एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए टॉपिक फ्रॉम द जियोग्राफी द प्लेट टेक्टोनिक थ्योरी एंड आई विल कवर द जीएस पेपर वन एंटायरली अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस थ्रू द ट्वेंटी वीडियोज एज आई हैव डन द जीएस पेपर टू completely discuss on the youtube channel through the 20 videos and this is my second series and i will discuss all the four gs question papers on the youtube channel <coughs> you may contact for the any kinds of information or the offline classes so this is the important the plate tectonic theory <coughs> topic is very important but here i will discuss only some important aspect one is what do you means by the circum pacific belt सरकम पैसिफिक बेल्ट सेकेंड इज मेंटल प्लूम एंड थर्ड इज मिड अटलांटिक रिज the plate tectonic theory has become too much important for the scientist geographer and for the human life and simply it is known today the human life totally depends upon this theory <laughs> without understanding the theory we cannot grow even a single steps and recently the some incidents like the growing frequency or intensity of earthquake and volcan volcanic eruptions so it have attracted the uh, minds or brains of scholars and the scientists and earlier the theory was important to understand the formation and the process of continent oceans the formation process of the mountain chains rift valleys and the ocean trenches and the so many landforms <laughs> the first of all the general information about the theory <coughs> you know the theory assumes that there are seven continent and the five oceans at the globe and it is assumed that there are seven major plate beneath the seven continents and the five major plates beneath the five oceans and there are some minor plates along with them and these plates are exist in the lithosphere the first layer of the earth this is the earth the first layer of the earth is called the lithosphere lithosphere and which includes the crust and upper mantle and the second layer is the asthenosphere and this is the core part of the earth core and which is which is further divided into the outer core and the inner core <coughs> 
seven plates of the seven continents and the five ocean plates are the part of the lithosphere these plates are found in the lithosphere and these plates exist over the mantles and you know when we move from the earth's surface towards the core part from the crust to the core part density temperature and pressure all are increased but the increase of temperature is too much important it is assumed that the earth's layer have a sufficient volume or amount of radioactive materials and due to this the high temperatures are recorded in the inner part of the earth and due to the high temperature the solid rock sometimes melt and they converts into the liquid form and also produce the heat and here we can say the major and the minor plates depend upon this heat and the liquid materials so the liquid materials and heat sometimes creates disturbance into the plates and this is called the plate tectonic theory that's why we can say these plates are not completely fixed or in a static position they are continuously under the changes disturbance or running under a movement so the scientist generally assumes that these plates are running under a rapid changes or the movement and finally the plates movement is studied in this way when the two plates come to each other or the two plates moves towards the each other so then at the edge of the two plates it may be a volcanic eruptions and shaking of the earth means earthquake and the formation of the mountains and the trenches so when two plates moves to each other this is called the converse convergence plate boundaries or the convergence plate tectonic theory also called the destructive theory or the destructive zone and second is when the two plates moves away from the each other so then this is called the divergence plate theory or the di- it creates the divergence plate boundaries and further it resulted into the rift valleys and the so many landforms or changes within the oceans so then this is the movement of the two plates and further the movement may be between the two continental plates or movement between the two ocean plates and movement between one continental plate or the one ocean plates and there is a third aspect to this is the transformation of the plates so this is the simple information about this theory and now we have to apply this theory regarding the three dimension one is the circum pacific belt which is also called the rings of fire and the rims 
of fire then why and what are the features and why this welt is notorious for more than 90% of earthquake at the globe and more than 70% of volcanoes at the globe so it is very notorious for the destruction of economic structures and the human life you know it is assumed that it is a horse shoe shaped belt the horse shoe shaped belt and it is about 40000 kilometer long and about 500 kilometer wide and it covers the south american continent this is the western part of the chile and the peru country and it also cover the north america continent mexico usa and the canada and it covers the kamchatka peninsula of the russia and the islands of the japan and this is the mariana trench of philippines and finally the java island of indonesia so this belt is a horse shoe shaped belt which is about 40000 km long and 500 km wide and most of studies have been made about the belt and simply it have concluded now the concentration of radioactive materials is too much beneath the lithosphere and due to this the melting of rocks and the process of convection is increasing that is why it is creating more disturbance into the continental and the oceanic plates. So, that is why this movement or disturbance caused to higher degree of earthquakes and the volcanic eruption. So, we can say why the most of volcanoes or earthquake occur this belt due to the internal movement or changes according to the plate tectonic theory. Second is what is the mental plume and how is useful to understand the various tectonic theories or the geological process. You know mental plume is a process of convection. There are two kinds of convection. One is the transfer of heat is a convection in the atmosphere, earth atmosphere. But here this is the convection of the fluid. When the fluid moves from the uh, moves towards the upper layer. So, through the mental plume it have studied how the plate tectonic theory showing the great movements and how are the volcanic chains formed and what kind of mountains and how the volcanic eruptions become too much important and what kind of internal activities are going under the lithosphere or the mantles. Definitely the mantle plume, the process of convection has provided a sufficient knowledge to the scientists or geographer to study the movement between the different plates and why the too much lava, the hot lava or magma erupted through the center of volcanoes and sometimes it is erupted only a, a, a few amounts and sometime at the large amount. So, then it resulted into the formation of islands 
and the resulted into the mountains. So the mental plume theory is very important because the convection theory definitely have studied uh, at large. And last is the mid Atlantic ridge also called the mid ocean ridge. It have studied that how the two plates continental and continental and the ocean and the ocean plates moves away from the each other. Generally we can study this. This is the South American continent and this is the North America continent and the European continent, North America, South America and this is the African continent. You know the mid Atlantic ridge or the mid, mid ocean ridge mainly define the process of North Atlantic Sea or the South Atlantic Sea. So, then the continental plates of North America and the Europe moves away from each other. So, then it creates the divergence plate boundary and expansion of the North Atlantic Sea and it have created the rift valleys and so many landforms and it have helped to study the internal disturbances of the North Atlantic and same when the South American continental plates and the African continental plates moves away from each other then it caused to the expansion of the South Atlantic Sea and have created the long rift valleys and also it have helped to study the so many activities in the South Atlantic Sea. So, the mid Atlantic and the mid oceanic rays are, rays are very important and through which the plate tectonic theory have proved and the plate tectonic theory also have proved the formation or the expansion of the Atlantic Sea a relationship between the different continental plate and the oceanic plate. So, this is my suggestion to you. You should try to understand or analyze the topic in this way so that we can cover the various dimensions. Okay. Thank you.